let's get our heads into a great space for creating characters and environments by doing an automatic drawing exercise. Paper, please. So before we begin, for me, automatic drawing is about letting the subconscious come out. It doesn't matter what skill level you are, anyone can do automatic drawing. It's a great way to free your mind. It's a great way to come up with ideas and to analyze them later and discover what you want to do as far as a, a character goes or an environment goes. Let's see what will happen when I start drawing. So we have some things that are very interesting going on right now with this image. Now, one of the things that really stand out to me is this image here. This looks like a pair of scissors, which I would assume is coming from something about yesterday's conversation I had with someone about them cutting their hair. Right now, I'm really hungry for some reason. And this, I think, is looking like maybe like a hamburger. This is obviously some sort of fish or shark. Maybe I'm thinking about Australia, which I'm planning on going there eventually very soon. Lots of twirling lines. There's, there's strange shapes here that look like uh, medical beakers. Potentially this could be related to some sort of medical situation going on in the world. Yes, I feel like there's, there's a lot of little interesting things going on here. It's very flowy. It's quite abstract right now. And to me, it's really the first stages of my subconscious coming out. Now, inspiration literally means to breathe in. Now, when you create an idea, what you're doing is actually breathing out, which is exhalation. And exhalation means the creation of an idea. So when we were doing this automatic drawing, everything that I'd been breathing in over the past few weeks had been breathed out onto the paper it was subconscious thoughts coming out onto the paper and creating different ideas. And my belief is that there are actually no completely new ideas, which means that there are obviously many ideas created out there and we can't be fully original, but we can subvert ideas to make them more interesting or more unique. Now, for instance, if we look at this image here, this is a horse. It's a, what we'd call, a level one idea. Now imagine you get something very, very small, maybe like a horn, and you remix that horse with this horn, suddenly you get what's called a complex idea. This amazing unicorn. This now horse becomes something beautiful and magical. It has a whole mythology around it. When you touch the horn, it, it heals diseases. It goes and saves the world. Who knows what this horse could be? But it's now a complex idea, it's an interesting idea, and it's a unique idea. 